Have you ever broken your nail so low, so close to the quick, that you know even filing it, you're just not going to be able to fix your nail without it hurting so, so badly? As you can see, I've done just that to my nail and it's uh, bent back and, and ripped off at the quick. It's just going to be too, too painful. So I'm going to fix it with super glue, a toothpick, a tea bag, a pair of scissors, and my nail file. This is not something you should do if you're a child. Super glue is very dangerous. So first, I'm actually going to file my nail down, which I've already done, uh, so that I don't bend it back again and uh, mess up what I'm going to fix. I'm going to take my tea bag and make sure all the tea leaves are at the bottom, and I just want the uh, perforated filter paper of the tea bag and cut a small piece out. And this is going to sit on my nail and it's almost going to be like um like a little graft that I'm going to put there so I'm going to cut this piece of paper tea bag paper down to size so that it can fit on my nail as I said super glue is very dangerous please if you're a child do not do this even if you're an adult be extremely careful you only need two drops of super glue but if you get it in the wrong spot it can hurt you it can stick your fingers together very dangerous so let's test this nope need to have a bit of a trim more I'm gonna fold it in half give it a bit more strength and I'm gonna trim one side so that it's slightly angled There we go. Let's try it this time. That's a bit better. Now I'm going to get my super glue. I'm using a paper plate because I didn't want to make a mess on my workspace. So I'm going to try and dab one spot of super glue. And I'm using the toothpick so that I don't get the super glue on everything. I don't really want the uh, super glue to touch anything other than the paper and the end of the toothpick. Oh, and my nail. Be very careful, you only need the tiniest bit. You're going to place the tea bag paper on your nail over where the cut is and gently move that paper around with your toothpick so that it covers the split in your nail. And you really do not want the super glue to go down into the side where your nail and your skin meet. I'm going to get a second piece of this little paper. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut it to size. Shape it a bit. Oops, hit the camera. And I'm going to pop that there too. And I'm going to need another spot of super glue. Just one tiny little spot. There you go. I'm going to put the lid on and get that out of the way. Now just Dab that super glue so that the tea bag paper gets completely saturated with the glue. Pretty it up. Move it into position so that it's covering your nail, especially where the, the um, breakage is. And this needs to dry. It's going to take a little while to dry, a couple of minutes maybe. Try and make sure there's no bubbles in the paper. move it into position and again the other thing you don't want to do don't try and get have no super glue under your nail 
use the other end of the toothpick just to make sure wipe any excess away and don't worry if it looks a bit lumpy and bumpy because we're going to file it but you do want this to be sitting there mm -hmm. push it into place okay so let's wait a couple of seconds for this to dry try and get this in focus so you can see what I'm doing okay so I've this is dried now I've dried it off I'm just going to file the end of my nail to make sure that it's smooth at the tip now the nail file I have has the four different sides on it it's got a buffing side it's got a smaller you know more gentle file and everything so I'm using a gentle file to just smooth out where the glue is I don't want it to be rough so I'm just going to sort of buff it a little bit gently smooth away some of those sharper edges and they're not sharp but they're bumpy the bumpy edges do it gently because you don't want to file all the paper off mm. but you do want the glue to be smooth and then I'm going to use the buffing side to make sure that it's smooth and just gently buff and and gently file until it feels smooth now you I can see that I've got some white there I'm not too worried about that because if I paint my nails that's going to be covered but the important thing is that you want that little bit that split to grow out naturally and um, not to split further so that you're, you're going to have a, a very sore finger so this is sort of like a a band-aid to let it grow out naturally and then you will be able to file it down normally like you would a short nail rather than a nail that is broken so low down so file it away smooth it down making sure that you're not going over the paper and I'm running my finger over it to make sure it's smooth it is smooth I'm going to just dust that off a bit I'm going to get a clear nail polish and I'm just going to put one piece of, you know, a, a coat of nail polish on this one finger. I will do all my fingers, but I'm just going to show you on this one finger. And as you can see, it's kind of not looking too, too bad. I can get away with it. It doesn't look awful. And especially if I would painted it a colour, you would not notice that. But there we go, that's how um, I've been taught to fix a cut nail that's too far down. If you give it a try, be careful. Take care. Bye.